Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, it is this afternoon. Mercury turns direct. Yeah, you better holler and hoot. Ooh, this one has been a hoot, hadn't it? Mercury will turn direct in Scorpio this afternoon at 2.11 p.m. Eastern Time. Let's just roll that back so we can sever these times because the West Coast gets to celebrate at 11.11. So 2.11 p.m. Eastern, 1.11 Central. You've got it 12.11 Mountain and 11.11 if you're on the West Coast. Has this one not been just a little pickle? Oh, gosh, I'm telling you, just stuff that I, because I, you know, I'm in front of screens, literally, from the time I wake up until the time I go to bed. And uh, it's just been crazy. The little stuff that's just been, uh, the irritating little, uh. so there you go. It's over. Ah, we can breathe. Now, here's the deal, though. Mercury goes direct at 11 degrees Scorpio. Here's why we can't go have a street party tonight is because it turns direct at 11 degrees Scorpio. Now, when it went into retrograde, it was at 27 degrees Scorpio. So really, to be out of this phase completely, it has to retrace all of those degrees from 11 to 27. That's going to take until December 7th. Oh, But look, no, it's all good because... Basically, the main effect is over. It's done. We're on the backside, so we're free. Almost. <laughs> okay, got a lot else to talk about. Did you catch the big super trine yesterday? Oh, that was so awesome. I just basked in it all day long. The moon was trying to Venus and Jupiter, but because it's the moon, it's already moved off. It had moved off by about 7.30 last night, Eastern Time. But we still have a trine with the moon. It's just different stuff, right? Because the moon has moved on from that trine from, from uh, uh, Venus and Jupiter. You've got to jump on these lunar trines. You know, when they happen, you've got to jump on them. So here's the one for today. In fact, we've got a couple of things going on that are worth noting. So let's talk about the big one first. That's the grand trine. So the moon and, okay, get this. This is so interesting. I've been thinking about this. So the moon is in a grand trine with, first of all, the south node. And also with Uranus. This is the big triangle shape. Okay, let's unpack this because this is what I've been doing in the astrology readings. And by the way, if you're interested in that, you can go to funastrology.com and go to the consults page. It's forward slash consults, or there are a couple of links from the home page that will take you right there. Because the big part of this reading that we're doing, the one that's on special there for $97, is to take a look at your soul path, your path from your south node to your north node, and what does that entail? So as I'm getting deeper into these readings, something is becoming very clear, and that is that the universe gives us all kinds of synchronicities, if you will, opportunities to move from our south node to our north node. And on a day like today, you've got a trigger like the moon sitting up there at 8 degrees Virgo as I'm looking at uh, kind of a mid-morning chart for most people. And then Uranus. Okay, now that was interesting. Uranus and the south node. So what I would expect today is if you are really in tune to your life's energy and your life's path, you could watch for some kind of a trigger um, like out of the blue, right? Let's paint those Uranus characteristics into this. Unusual, out of the blue, unexpected. Could be fun, right? It could be vibrant. It could be something to move you along. Could be one of those things and you recognize it and you go, ah, I've got an opportunity here to respond the way my soul wants to respond. Maybe it's just kind of like an exercise in the gym. You know, it might not be any major big deal, but it just might be an opportunity to catch that north node that you that that it's like that's the universe saying here is your soul path go this way all right so that's really powerful i see that as being a kind of a cool deal now the other thing is the moon is throwing off a couple of other sextiles equally uh easy aspects one is to the north node oh you got to love how this ties together so it throws you the Uranus uh, spring off of your south node, like bounce off of that area where you're not supposed to be hanging out. Don't do this. You're supposed to be over here. And then it's like, come to Papa. 
brings you right on in with that beautiful sextile to the north node. Makes it easy. And it's also connected with Mercury. And Mercury is connected to the north node by a trine. So it's a little mini triangle up there springing off of the moon. What does that mean? Well, it basically means that through the vehicle of communication or perhaps learning something new, something presents itself that you have the opportunity to learn something new today. So it could be communication, it could be learning, but something along those lines triggers you. And like if you know what your north node path is, you move in that direction with really kind of sailing along that energy. So if you have studied your south node, north node, or if you've had a reading, you know what we're talking about in that area. If you haven't, I would invite you to get one. Just go to the funastrology.com forward slash consults and we will get you on the books. But now if you know what your north node path is and you know what your south node triggers are, play with that today. That will be fascinating. I can't wait. It's going to be fun. <laughs> I love this life. And I will see you tomorrow for Thursday. Got an Amazon delivery coming I'm looking forward to. Woohoo!